I stand here before you, unapologetically Muslim American, unapologetically Palestinian American, unapologetically from Brooklyn, New York. I will respect the presidency, but I will not respect this president of the United States of America. I will not respect an administration that won an election on the backs of Muslims and black people and undocumented people and Mexicans and people with disabilities and on the backs of women. Many of our communities, including my community, the Muslim community, has been suffering in silence for the past 15 years under the Bush administration and under the Obama administration. The very things that you were outraged by during this election season, the Muslim registry programs, the banning of the Muslims, the dehumanization of the communities that I come from, that has been our reality for the past 15 years. If you want to know if you are going the right way, follow women of color, sisters and brothers. We know where we need to go, and we know where justice is, because when we fight for justice, we fight for it for all people, for all our communities. I am honored to stand here today on the stage as a national co-chair with Tamika and Carmen, who are my sisters, but also with my family, because I organize for my mother, I march for my daughters and all of my children. But most of all, I am my Palestinian grandmother who lives in an occupied territories, wildest dream, sisters and brothers, and I'm so proud to be here with all of you. Justice for all. Yeah.